We've just concluded the uh, General Assembly session. It has produced more reform legislation than any other time in Illinois history. I was uh, proud to be a partner with members of the General Assembly, both houses, both parties, and working on some historic challenges that our state uh, faced two years ago when I was sworn in on January 29th of 2009. Uh, this General Assembly <coughs> impeached my predecessor and removed him unanimously uh, in January of 2009. And from that point on, uh, worked with me, the new governor, uh, to make sure our state got back on the right track. I think the ethics legislation that we've passed, the recall constitutional amendment, first time ever campaign finance reform uh, that we got with limits, first time limits on campaign contributions and many, many more ethics uh, pieces of legislation. Uh, that dealt with a very severe integrity crisis that our state found itself uh, confronting. We also knew at the time and uh, ever since that we have uh, a lot of work to do to get our state's economy back on track. I'm happy to say that in the past year we've created more jobs than any other state in the Midwest. We've had eight straight months of declining unemployment. Uh, our state uh, has had a number of good things happen with respect to uh, companies deciding to either come to Illinois or stay and grow in Illinois. And we want to continue that uh, for years to come. We have a long way to go in our recovery, but uh, we've reduced our unemployment rate in the past year by two percentage points and I'd like to see that continue to go down and down until we get where we want to be as far as jobs. I think the most important thing we can do in government is to help our citizens have a good job they can support uh, their family on. And everything in government should always keep its eye on that. And uh, I think that the actions in the past 24 hours uh, of really going to help us as a state to, to pay our bills. The state of Illinois is a major player in our state economy. Uh, for years it has been behind in paying its bills on time. It got worse and worse and worse this year. Even in the last couple of months, uh, the situation continued to deteriorate, and we had to take decisive action. Uh, decisive action with respect to restraining spending, and we have enacted in the past day historic spending restraints that require uh, bipartisan cooperation, and any changes require bipartisan support. So I think it's a very, very important uh, reform measure that we enacted last night, uh, restraint on spending. And we have to understand that solving our budget and fiscal problems and paying our bills relies on restraint of spending today and tomorrow. And these are very hard caps on spending. We want to make sure we continue that so our state never, ever falls into the kind of deficit it found itself in. And cl climbing out of this deficit, we're in a period now of reform and recovery. This next four years, we have to deal with the situation that occurred in the previous 28 years or three decades. Uh, there were many things that were done in the past that helped cause this deficit. Now we have to get out of the deficit and recover. So the next four years are a period of recovery. We have some temporary tax increases that are designed to pay our bills get Illinois back on fiscal sound footing and make sure that our state uh, has a strong economy. To have a strong economy, you have to have the state of Illinois uh, in fiscal good shape. So the revenue that will be raised by the income tax based on ability to pay is designed to make sure that we do pay our bills, that we do have a state that has good fiscal practices on spending as well as making sure that things are done right for the important things of life. That includes education, making sure our schools uh, have the financing they need in order to educate our citizens from birth on to make sure we have good jobs because the key to having prosperity is to have a well-educated citizenry and workforce. So we are going to continue to invest in our schools. We're going to continue to make sure we have decent health care and we're going to continue to make sure that our public safety is there to protect the public. 
And so these are the important things, the core things of government. We'll be able to pay for them in a proper way. And I do commend uh, the members of the House and Senate who voted for the revenue last night. It was probably one of the hardest votes, if not the hardest vote, they ever took in their legislative careers. I want to thank Mike Madigan, Speaker of the House, John Cullerton, President of the Senate. Uh, I enjoyed working with them uh, in the two years that I've been governor. And we had to work together to fashion a lot of these reforms that I mentioned. Uh, in addition to uh, the ethics reforms and the job recovery initiative that we took, uh, the capital bill that will provide uh, work for many, many citizens across Illinois, we also uh, enacted other historic reforms, nursing home reform, uh, making sure that those who are in nursing homes are treated properly. We also enacted Medicaid reform, long talked about. We enacted it with bipartisan support. It's going to make a real difference. I think other things that we did, like public pension reform, will save taxpayers billions of dollars over the coming generation. So these are all hard things to do, one after another. And I think that's what democracy is all about, people working together for the common good. And I, as governor of Illinois, sworn in the other day, look forward to four more years of cooperation, hard work, taking on the toughest challenges, and making sure we have good solutions.